um, I, I got a lot of idols in series, uh, in video games, uh, in anime, who really made the person that I am today. So, thinking just uh, that I was able to cosplay, to bring to life those characters through cosplay, for me was something amazing. So I definitely wanted to give a try. And nowadays, it's my life, it's my job, it's my everything. Uh, from being a crafter and now it's now your uh, job. Is it that great? Okay, um, next, moving on with the next question. Among the characters that you have cosplayed, who was the most challenging to portray and why? So, talking about the creation of cosplays, definitely I have no doubt about that it was uh, Guts from Berserk, the version... I didn't hear, what did you say? Okay. <laughs> Guts from Berserk, uh, uh, the black uh, armor, so the Beast of Darkness armor, uh, was one of the most challenging cosplay I ever made. But it was uh, during a uh, uh, time that it was uh, growing up in cosplay. I was learning a lot, so that was kind of normal. Nowadays, uh, for me, it's not about how much it's difficult to create a cosplay, but how much time I have to create the cosplay. Uh, once we learn to do things, uh, it's just about time, uh, we can learn anything, uh, and uh, I experienced this in cosplay, so that's well, it. Well, that brings us to our next question, uh, since that you mentioned a time for creating, how long does it usually take you to complete uh, the cosplay character? Nowadays, it depends how much time I have. Because uh, traveling a lot, working in cosplay, especially working on activations for companies, sometimes they contact me one, two weeks before the activation has to be completed. And they say, hey, we want you to perform in this country and creating this cosplay. And it's, yeah, but it's in a week. Yeah, can you do it? I can do it. I mean, of course I can course, do it. Yeah. I'm not gonna sleep, I'm not gonna eat, doesn't matter, whatever it takes. I always go through and uh, try my best to accomplish the mission. And um, But for me, honestly, when I want to take my time to create a cosplay, it's uh, most about one, two months it, to, be, to be good. Well, uh, now um, I'm seeing your makeup with all of your uh, characters. It's uh, pretty good. So uh, I'm just gonna follow up with this. Uh, with how intricate your makeup looks in cosplay, how long does it usually take you as well to complete your makeup in every character? Makeup in cosplay, like uh, like the costumes, like the wig, uh, like the shoes, like whatever you are wearing, it's a fundamental part of cosplay. Uh, it's something that really can give that extra touch, especially if you want to look like the character through makeup, uh, contouring, highlighting, shadowing. You can literally change the shape of your face in order to look like the character. First of course you have to figure out how will look a character in real life, especially when it's about anime, might be very tricky. Uh, regarding the makeup that they do, uh, it's usually around two, three hours of makeup. Right, now that we have mentioned about how you complete the uh, costume and the makeup, of course, uh, our your fans love your physique. Right, so they, mm. Alright, so uh, I asked you earlier at uh, the uh, backstage on how you uh, usually take your time with your training. Uh, what, what is your training routine? I, I work out daily, so every day I work out. No, it's not mattering what part of the world I am, it doesn't matter uh, what's the time. Uh, if in Italy it's uh, morning and then, then it's night in that country, I work out. Uh, and uh, it's usually a workout in the morning uh, that continue, it's more cardio, aerobic, and then continue focusing on a muscle, muscular grab. Uh, might be chest, pecs, uh, uh, might be uh, biceps, uh, shoulders, it depends on what I want to work out that day. Uh, I always try my best to push my limits every time. Uh, well, when I'm very tired, I, I don't, don't always do it, but I always work out. Our next question, how has cosplay influenced your life outside of convention and events? And in what ways has it permitted or affected your daily activities and personal growth? Yeah, I mean, 
as a cosplayer, first of everything else, uh, I see cosplay in everything. I see opportunities. Every time I see a character, I see a pose, uh, uh, you know, I see an advertising, I, I think about cosplay, think about, hey, that could be an idea for this character that I cosplay, that could be, you know, be inspired what you see around, uh, staying creative, be, keeping your mind uh, creative about what you see around. But I think it's not just about cosplay, it's about every artist is this way. And uh, regarding my common life, what can I say? I don't have life because I don't have uh, any other life nowadays about cosplay because uh, travel, I literally work uh, all the time for cosplay, for socials. Being a professional cosplayer can be very hard, especially when you take care of everything by yourself. And uh, I, this is what I do. Uh, and nowadays I do nothing else ex except cosplay working out. And uh, the most of my community know this, who follow my stories, who follow my daily contests, they know everything about my life. Uh, this step you don't forget to uh, take your uh, fans into by showing you on how uh, the progress you're doing in your daily day life. Alright, so uh, do you have any memorable experiences while in cosplay or meet and greet with fans in the convention? The meet and greet is always a new and wonderful experience because uh, every reaction is unique. Some fans, uh, some people will meet me, uh, they cry, some people are just inspired by what I do every day. And uh, I can tell you what really shocked me is to see that uh, how easy can be just sharing my daily life can be inspiring for people. And uh, this is something that at the beginning really shocked me because uh, some people came to me saying, like something like you saved my life but because I was unmotivated I was not inspired uh, and uh, seeing your content see how you push yourself uh, how you want to go beyond the limit how you do never tap out on your goals on your dreams really gave me that push to do more in my life and uh, when people come to say this to me it always give me like something like, that I cannot describe I feel like a mix of uh, proudness, uh, great gratefulness, and also a little bit scary because uh, I can think that, uh, okay, what they do can really have uh, an impact in the life of people who follow me. So I really don't want to disappoint those people. And it's something some sometimes heavy, you know? I can feel the heavy of this but it's something good. And I'm still uh, pushing myself and still trying to do all my best for all the people who follow me. Right. Oh my It's only B. Someone's shouting and uh, they want to eat spaghetti with you. <laughs> who wants to eat spaghetti with me? <laughs> if, if you want, you can eat that. <laughs> I don't know if they will allow me to go to go back to Italy if I do this. <laughs> oh my god, no, no, no. You can put your back down. So, what's about Jollibee? Jollibee is not Italian, I guess. Yeah. And, let's see. I, I'm gonna be honest, okay? Do, do not offend yourself. I'm Italian, so I, you must be careful about food with, a, with an Italian. Oh, wow, okay. Alright, <laughs> All right, so guys, this is uh, Tyler's first time gonna be eating it. It's gonna be, we're gonna know his honest reaction to this. I don't know what to think about this. <laughs> it, it, uh, let me say something. It really hurts my heart to see spaghetti in this. You oh. should never do this. <laughs> but I love Philippines so much and I forgive you for this. Well Tyron, we, we do have this is not a love allowed in Italy. No 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 this, this is not okay. This well, is not Tari, we do have a catchphrase here in the Philippines. Hashtag only in the Philippines. Only in the Philippines. Okay, what happened in Philippines stays in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah! Promise me that because I mean okay. No, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Guys, cheer him, eat it! Amen! Amen!
It's different. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so guys, if you want to give Tyron a gift, give him a lot of spaghetti. <laughs> it's a little too much cooked. The the pasta is a little too much cooked to be in order with the Italian rules. But it's good. It's good. It's the Filipino spaghetti. I accept this. I accept this. Alright, there you have it. Yes, let's keep this in Philippines. <laughs> you can have it, but I will definitely try again. So thank you so much for this dish. I love you, Philippines. Alright. Gonna say it right. Just scream louder than you can. So to all my Filipino family, mahal ko kayo. Love you! Love you, I love you, friend! Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you for this time on stage. You are an amazing host. Can we, can we get an applause for our amazing host? Oh, you're amazing. Thank you no, so much. They are amazing. They are amazing. All of us are amazing. Thank you. See you soon. Bring me back. 